Plant Geeks, Leslie Halleck of Halleck Horticultural, leslieHalleck.com, here with an exciting unboxing today. So I wanted to show you, and I've already started in on it, a box that I just got from Little Prince Growers up in Oregon. Um, Mark over there at Little Prince uh, happens to know that I have a particular penchant for petite plants. And so I was really excited when I opened up this box and discovered a bevy of beautiful teeny tiny plants. So I think all of the plants that I'm gonna show you here in this really awesomely packed box are in Little Prince's uh, petite plants line. I think that's what they were called, petite plants, or plant poppers, but all petite. And I know that they're working on lots of new um, little petite plants for you guys. So this will be a great introduction to some of their petite plants. If you are an indoor houseplant parent, or you have a small garden or pots out on the patio where you need to tuck in little petite plants and succulents, um, this box is full of amazing stuff. So I'm gonna pull out, it's probably not enough time for me to go through all of it, but I'm gonna pull out some of the favorites that I'm really excited about. So there are a lot of Haworthias in this box and Haworthias are succulents that will generally tolerate lower light conditions than your average succulent. So if you are an indoor plant parent and you're struggling uh, with enough light for a lot of your plants or succulents, then Haworthia is definitely a genus that you're gonna wanna check into. And there are so many Haworthia in this amazing box right now. And this first one that I wanna show you because it's so teeny tiny is Haworthia angustifolia. I'm gonna pop this out of this amazing packaging here and give you a close up. Look at this little guy. So most of your Haworthias will generally get a little bit taller with fatter leaves, but this Angustifolia, um, it almost looks like a Tillandsia, but it's not. And it's got these really beautiful rosy red uh, leaves on it that give it a little bit of color contrast. So this is a cool one that I don't see around a lot. So definitely an exciting addition to my Petite Plants collection. Another one that I was really excited about is Haworthia. Um, tessellata. And I love this because the veins on the foliage are kind of pink and they give the plant a really pretty foliage contrast. So I'm going to pop this out here, give you a close up. This Haworthia right here. Look at that. Look at how pretty the leaf pattern is. And this Haworthia, you can see it has a really low profile and it's really short and tiny. So you can tuck this into a really tiny pot or a succulent planting and you know, put it in a, a moderate or low light windowsill um, or lower light place in your house and it will actually handle those conditions pretty well. And you can actually see there's some pups, some little babies coming up already. So uh, this is a really pretty Haworthia that you definitely wanna check out. So that's um, another one. And then there's lots of other Haworthias I can get into, but I wanted to show you this Eloanopsis Lacophii, which is really cool. Now, he sent me a bigger pot of this plant, which is amazing, thank you. Pop this out. Ooh, like that. So get this off. Okay. So the leaves on this Loanopsis look like little teeth. It's almost like little dragon's teeth. So when you get up really close to it, look, look at that. Look how cool that is. So as you can see, there's a lot of plant here, but it doesn't actually take up a lot of space. So you can grow this um, in a low, you know, small container. This is about a four-inch pot size. And again, you can do this in sort of medium light conditions, a little bit brighter than the Haworthia probably to be successful, but it looks a little cute little dragon teeth. That's what I like to call it. Anyway, this is a really cool one. Let's see, there are so many plants in here, it's hard to show you all of the cool ones. Oh, very cool, teeny tiny little cactus. If you're looking for something that really is a cactus and you wanna try growing it inside and you have some grow lights, um, I'm always gonna recommend that if you're growing cactus or bright light succulents indoors that you're gonna need some grow lights to uh, make that happen. Okay, so Mammillaria fragilis. And uh, this is a cool little, ooh, you have to be really careful. It's, it's Mammillaria fragilis because it is fragile. And oftentimes it can be hard to get these because they do break really easily, but uh, Little Prince has done such a great job at packing this that there's not even a broken little leaf pot on this. So I'm gonna give you a close up of this teeny tiny cactus. So if you want a cactus, but you don't have a lot of space and you want something teeny tiny, this Mammillaria fragilis is perfect. And it'll get several inches tall and make a nice little clump. And each of these little leaf pads, you know, they will fall off some. Okay, here's one that did fall off. 
as you can see. That's why they call it Fragilis and it can be hard to ship, but you can root this baby if you want to. But how cute is that? I love these. It's actually one of my favorite potted cactus for indoors, but I do, I do keep the cactus under grow lights. So under LEDs, you know, generally about eight to 10 inches away from the LEDs is a good, a good thing to do for those. Oh, and then there is, there's some really pretty echeverias in here as well. Small echeverias because Mark knows I like little tiny plants. Um, so let me show you some of these. This is really pretty. Okay. I found it. Echeveria globulosa. This is a really pretty uh, Echeveria. Tiny, stays on the tiny side and has really beautiful, fat, juicy, bluish, succulent leaves. Look how pretty that is. I'm going to show that to you up close. Look at that. So you get that really pretty bluish silver color a really, really soft, translucent foliage. And those can also be kept in really small containers. This is a about a two inch, one and a half inch size pot. So you can keep those in, in some of those cool little concrete planters that are so popular right now. These are great for that. Um, Echeverias indoors are gonna need a little bit brighter light. So, you know, a brighter southern window, or if you have a little supplemental light from LEDs, that's gonna be good for your Echeverias. There's one more really cool plant in here I'm gonna show you uh, before I kind of give you a list of everything else that's in the box. And this is Focaria tigrina. And this is really cool too. It, it's, it's got a similar look to some of the Hordias and it's got those tooth-like leaves on it. This is a bigger pot too. Ooh, they do such a great job packing. It can sometimes be a little tricky to get these out, but that's good, that's what you want. Um, all the plants showed up looking really perfect and healthy. So let's get this off. Ooh, goodness. All right, let me give you a close-up. Bacaria. Ooh, look at that. So more kind of like dragon tooth looking type foliage. This is another great, easy to grow succulent, similar to your Haworthias. So, I mean, I could go on for another hour with everything that's in this box. As you can see, I have lots more plants to go through, but I really want to thank Little Prince of Oregon. They have a really great retail shop that you can hop on and buy if you are hanging out at home, working at home right now, and have a little extra time to play with your plants. Um, be sure to check out their shop. They have so many great succulents. They have lots of great outdoor garden plants too, but if you're looking to kind of add to your indoor houseplant collection right now, and you're looking for plants on the smaller side, be sure to check, check out all of their little um, planter poppers and little petite prints.